Hello again, this is Oliver and welcome back to yet another video, short video where I explain different analysis techniques for Sudoku. If you like my videos, be sure and give me the thumbs up and you might think of subscribing as well, be greatly appreciated. This video tutorial is called Ultimate Chains. That is what it is called on Duncan's website, littlegogs.com, but it is more commonly known as alternating inference chains and i'll put a link here to one that i've already done which was tutorial number 23. in this particular one the chain is starting and ending here and what it's trying to do is show that if there is not an eight there will be a six or not a six there will be an eight which means there'll always be an eight or a six here in this cell which means there will not be a one so that's the whole idea of this chain so let's have a look at it i'll just quickly uh, put in the links for the chain and then we'll go back and have a chat about it okay okay the definition anyway of an alternating inference chain is that we're going to start and end on a strong link and throughout the chain is going to be alternating between strong and weak links if there's you can always replace a weak link with a strong link so let's have a look at it now starting off at suppose we decided that eight is not there no eight there which means there is an eight here that was a strong link eight there which means there's not an eight here which is a weak link and this is a weak link because we have two eights there as well not there it is here it is here it's not there not there which means we now have a six a six here means no six here no six mirror means that there is a six here six means no six and no six means six so we started off without the eight and we've ended up with a six and if we go back the other way if we start off here with no six so there's no six there which gives us a six a six no six no six gives us a six six here gives us no six which gives us an eight which gives us no eight which gives us an eight weak link here no eight gives us an eight which just just proves that it's all it's going to be either a six or an eight therefore there's no one and that is all there is to these alternating inference chains or as Duncan calls them the ultimate chains and he calls it that because with this chain you should be able to prove almost anything if you're stuck this will be able to get you out of it if you go back to things like x-wings sashimis all of those can be shown to be alternating inference chains that's it finished now and uh, come back tomorrow i'll have another little video for you till then slan tamil